In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a brochure for a travel and tourism sector. As you can see here, I have added a very nice background image which I have downloaded from the internet. And in the circles, I have put some family images enjoying uh, the vacations. And below, you can give the details about your company. And in the center, you can put your QR code if it is there and the contact details. And on the right side, you can put the company logo and the caption of your uh, company. So this is the, the, the front side or the top side of the brochure. This is the tutorial one. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the inside one. So the same one, I have just made one more. When I click, I have just added one more. If you want, you can add it or you can just simply change the image also something like this so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to design slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down select a4 size which is 210 297 mm and let it be landscape and click ok now i'm going to add three rectangles to cover this slide so go to insert shapes, select a rectangle and I'm going to draw one rectangle, shape outline, make it no outline and width you give as 3.61. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm just going to change the color. And press Ctrl D one more time and change to some other color so you can see here we have added and very little gap is visible here for so for this I'm going to make it 3.62 so you can see here I have covered the slide with three rectangles I'm going to add one more rectangle for the curve shape go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle from this point till here shape outline make it no outline and give some different color then right mouse click just say edit points or if you're using some older version you can find the edit points here also in the edit shape edit point here also i can go and click then this right top one i'm just bringing it somewhat down and at this point i'm just going to add one more point so bring the cursor here right mouse click and just say add point and move this up and this point again click right mouse click and just say smooth point and then adjust it sorry let me just do it again edit points click here and this also and i'll click here i'll bring it down so you can see here i've got this particular shape and just make sure that this is perfectly aligned so you can i can see there's some gaps here you can see again right mouse click edit point and bring exactly again because of that this got affected so let me just again right mouse click edit point okay so i got this shape now now i'm selecting this shape the curve press ctrl d to duplicate it so I just duplicate and I'm just going to fill this color with maybe a light a gray and bring it exactly here and again right mouse click just say edit points and you can just drag this down and make it somewhat and here you can just adjust to hide the yellow one so you can see here 
I have got this shape now then I'm just going to cut this white also into three pieces for that I'm just going to select this the back uh, the blue background press ctrl D to duplicate it and bring it front there is a gap there so just let me just fill the gap all right now this color for the time being let me just change it so i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this then i'm going to select this shape and this rectangle merge shape just say fragment and just delete this part so you can see here one extra shape has been added here so again i'm going to do the same thing i'll just select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring exactly at the front and again i'm just going to select this and this merge shape again fragment and delete this so you can see here i have got one shape here i have got one shape and i have got one shape here so i've got three shapes so i'm just selecting this shape i'm going to give some different color here now select these three background rectangles hold and right mouse click and group it or press ctrl g to group it and then go to format just say picture fill you can just go and select any picture of your choice so let me just go and select this image and you can see here the image is uh, in the background but the image is not visible so let me just make all of this first zero and this also zero so the image is not visible again let me just go here and this offset bottom I can just increase on the top you can see here and this also top also I can just do the same thing and I can just select this image go to format rotate i can just say flip horizontal the next step is to add some oval shape go to insert shapes select an oval shape hold the shift key while making the or drawing the oval shape maybe this much size i'm just going to put it here shape outline you make it the same color outline which is of this orange and weight you can just increase to this much and again fill you can just select picture fill and insert some nice image maybe i'll just use this image and then just bring this to front this is the problem with this one which is the offset again the old setting still there so you have to just make sure it's all zero zero and then again you can just align it properly for example i will just rotate this also again so she's looking at this side and some more the right side you can just adjust like this then i'm going to select this image press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and put it here and again i'm just going to change the size image so 
so you can see here I have created two images now it's the time to add some text and some more details now before adding the text let me just select this and change the color to white all right now I'll add text I'll just say about us use some nice fonts I'm just going to use a century gothic for this make it bold and give the same color which is orange and below you can give more detailed text for that go to insert text box I just equals I'm just adding some Latin text. You can just change the text later on. Again, this also same century gothic. Reduce the size. And then on this one, you can use for contact us. As well as if you have the QR code, you can just add the QR code there. And if you have the icons of Facebook, Twitter, or whatever, you can just insert it here. And you can insert your telephone number or email address also. So let me just do this one. I'll just take a small oval shape. Shape outline, no outline and shape fill the same orange color I'm going to use control D so three and make sure that this is properly aligned I'll just select all these three align left and if you have the icons as I said you can just insert the icons and then you can just type the text here for example this is mobile number 01 whatever that number you can just add it here change the color to white reduce the fonts and exactly center it here you can give your email address or website So just align it properly. You should have equal spacing and all those things. And here you can just add some text or the caption. Put some captivating captions so that uh, it will attract it. And then you can add one company logo for that. I'm just going to select this control D to duplicate it, reduce the size and make it no picture fill. So I'll just a solid fill with white. You can add your logo here. If you want to print this, you can just simply go to file, save as browse first you need to save as a pdf file sell it as a pdf and then you can for example if i just say pdf it says options always select standard publishing if you want to put it on the website you can use this one and just click on save so that will be saved as a pdf file and you can give to the printer for the printing purpose
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye